students we are here now to teach you the theory of mathematical reasoning now nowadays in modern day mathematics mathematical reasoning is being used to come to conclusions now in the itj syllabus you will learn the basics of mathematical reasoning now mohit can you please explain the basics of mathematical reasoning yeah sure so first of all uh, going to the very basics let's see what a mathematical statement exactly is okay uh, first let me read out what a mathematical statement is uh, in simple words a statement in simple words a statement is mathematical if it is either true or false but not both okay okay so basically a statement should be true or false but not both of them okay now you might be confused what is this both of them a statement cannot be true and false at the same time right yeah okay so that is called a paradox let's move on further and uh, understand what a paradox is okay so uh, see i'm not talking about a ma- mathematical statement i am taking any general statement and i can say that there can be three possible conditions okay the statement could be true the statement could be false or the statement could be a paradox okay okay this is exactly the both state the both condition which i uh, said just now a statement which is true and false simultaneously okay okay i'll explain this to you with an example okay let us take the uh, this statement the sum of x and y is greater than 0 okay, okay. now this this statement could be true this statement could be false okay now how is the statement true or false okay see the sum of x and y is greater than 0 okay this uh, like clearly you can understand right that uh, it completely depends on the values that x and y have okay right so this statement could be true if let's for example say x is positive and y is positive hmm. and it is n- false for x and y to be less than 0 yeah yeah and there are many other conditions right x hmm. greater than 0 y less than 0 and so on hmm. so in those conditions this statement holds true and false at the same time depending yeah. on the values of x and y yeah so that's why we call it a paradox you're okay. clear till here okay it's clear let's yeah let's so move on let's move on uh see the conditions of a mathematical statement these two points are very important and to be kept in mind like the first uh, condition says sentences involving yesterday tomorrow here there etc are not mathematical statements let me just uh, brief you the reason why they are not called mathematical statements yeah, go on. yeah. Uh, the reason is a statement involving yesterday and tomorrow and things like that hmm. are dependent on time right okay. and time is a factor like okay uh, this statement would be valid for tomorrow right yeah. if i say tomorrow is friday that does not imply for the day after tomorrow yeah okay so these statements are not m- not mathematical because these are uh, like dependent upon time as time passes these statements would change yeah okay and the second condition is sentences expressing request command or question a uh, request command or question is not a statement okay okay and the reason being you request something you command or question or like for example you have a question mark in the uh, statement you have an exclamation mark in the question uh, in the statement these are not mathematical because see basically you're not uh, giving some input you're not giving some uh, information in the statement right okay you're gi- you're asking like for example if i say uh, if i talk about a question how many sides are there in a square hmm. so that is a question i'm not giving you a piece of information i'm not giving you some mathematical value okay. that the number of sides are four hmm. right so that is why those questions are those uh, statements are not considered mathematical are you clear till here Okay, let's move on to the next part of the theory. Yeah. So let's move on to this topic negation. Okay? So what negation basically is? Negation means the denial of a statement. Okay. Denial means like for example you say yes to me and I say no to you. Okay. Right? It is in simple words it means this. So f- let's take an example that for example it's a, uh, say a piece of statement New Delhi is a city. Okay. Okay. The negation of it would be New Delhi is not a city. So you're saying, for if you add a no or not to any statement, it would become an, it would become a negation. The negation. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. And uh, I've j- I've just taken this one more statement, like to avoid the confusion that every time it's not necessary you use a word not. Okay. Like the basic sense of the uh, this statement should change, right? Yeah. That should become the negation. So it is false that New Delhi is a city is also. 
uh, the negation of the statement because the two imply the same okay okay let's move on to the next topic compound statement what are compound statements compound you know what's a compound right the combination of two or more elements so okay. basically here compound statement means two or more statements joined by words such as and and or okay, okay? so that is also basically the co- combination of two or more sentences so you're saying if you combine two statements yeah. using any other terms yeah. so it's a compound statement yeah exactly okay. and the uh, words which uh, what you were talking about okay. are nothing but called uh, are nothing but uh, they are said connecting words okay okay so each statement is called the component statement okay. implies the two statements like for example i say 1 plus 2 plus 3 mm-hmm. so the uh, words that are used to connect the three statements are the component uh, are the connecting words okay. and each statement is a component statement okay yeah okay so let's so now can you please explain us more connecting words yeah uh, see i'll be explaining you the uh, basic the what happens when a statement involves an and and an or okay, okay? see f- if any statement has an and okay it is true if and only if each component statement is true okay you you have to understand what it means yeah. and matlab or hai na uh, and matlab uh, one thing plus the other thing yeah. okay so you cannot exclude one thing and you, you can just like for example if i say 1 plus 2 so what i mean to say is this statement is true yeah. if and only if both are true okay even if one of the statement is false may it mm. be one or two mm. the statement will be false okay so the a uh, statement involving and is mm. true if and only if this condition is there okay. for any other condition the mm. given statement would be false mm. okay for example i say a rectangle is a quadrilateral and uh, its four sides are equal mm. so the first statement is true right a rectangle mm. is a quadrilateral mm. but its four sides are not equal are its four sides equal No. No, right. So uh, there is a false statement this true so overall who wins? False wins. Okay. Okay. So if 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 if, if two statements are joined by and hmm. the final the both of the statements together the compound statement will only be true hmm. if both the statements are true. Exactly. Otherwise it it is a false. Yeah. The compound statement the result of the compound statement is a false. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's move on further to or okay. the other connecting word which I talked about. Okay. Okay. Or is true when even one of the component is true. Okay. See, in daily life also whenever we use or, hmm. okay, we say uh, go to the class on Monday or Tuesday, whatever. Okay. okay? So Monday or Tuesday, matlab you are giving an option to him. Yeah. Right. So w- any one of the statements can be true. Okay. Okay. So uh, it is see true for both the statements true. and true even if one of the statement is true yeah like for example true false pe bhi true hmm. and false true pe bhi true. true okay it is false only and only when both of the statements are false yeah so it is just the opposite of the previous one that was true for only this condition and this is false for only this condition okay so you're saying if a compound statement of yeah. which these two statements are connected with the connecting word hmm. r yeah then it will be true if one of if one of even if one of them, one is, of them true. is true yeah if both are false it will be a false statement yeah Completely. just look at this example the same example is quoted here also yeah. a rectangle is a quadrilateral is true hmm. its four sides are equal is false but the overall statement is true true yeah okay let's move further to exclusive and inclusive or okay, okay. so this is a little uh, i would say like this is an important topic okay. you should understand what it basically is hmm. exclusive and inclusive okay okay let's first look at what exclusive or is okay. if only one of the two options are possible this is okay. what i've written right so it implies that if a, uh, if if you have a statement hmm. uh, which is combined uh, which has uh, the connecting word as or Okay. okay and the statement to the left and the statement to the right hmm. both of them are uh, only one of them is possible at a given point of time then the or is exclusive for example look at this a rectangle or square has its four sides equal 
Now you know that a square has its four side equal. Yeah. But a rectangle does not have its four sides equal. No. And it can never happen, right? Yeah. So this only one of the option can be true at a given point of time. Hmm. Let's take one more example just I'm I'm telling you like uh, there are two lines which yeah. are parallel. Yeah. And if I say two lines are parallel hmm. or intersect at a point. Yeah. Okay. So this is an exclusive or. Yeah. Why? Because two lines are parallel. So when two lines are parallel can never intersect at a point no, right at any point. so that is the reason why that or would become exclusive okay let's move further okay what is an inclusive or inclusive or implies if any one of the two or both the options are correct okay okay for example a rectangle or square is a quadrilateral okay. so only one of the statement is correct right uh, sorry both of the statements are correct yeah. right okay. so that would become an inclusive or inclusive or ha huh. Okay, let's go on. Okay. So, let's move on to the next topic, what quantifiers are. Okay? Uh see, quantifiers itself tells you the meaning, right? Quantifiers means to quantify. Okay. So, for example, if a statement has uh this there exist as a quantifier, like see, there exist and for all are the two quantifiers in our course. Okay. Okay. What does there exist mean? There exist means that this statement is true for at least one case. Okay. Matlab like for example i i would say there exist a value of x for the given equation x plus y is equal to 4 okay okay so that means that there exists some at least one value for yeah. which this will hold true yeah okay and the oppo no not exactly the opposite for all means for all means that it is true for all the values in the domain like for example if i say x plus y is equal to 4 is true for all value of y Yeah. Okay, that implies for all value of y implies that y belongs from minus infinity to plus infinity mm. and in this entire range this holds true. Yeah. This statement holds true. Yeah. Okay? So that is the basic sense of quantifiers. You just need to remember these two quantifiers that okay. set. Okay? Let's move further to what a conditional statement is. Okay? See conditional statement okay. means you have a condition there. Hmm. Okay? So for example, if p and q are two statements okay. then a statement of the form if p then q okay or like see i'm just giving the synonym of it okay if p then q p implies q uh not of p uh, sorry p implies q q if p p only if q okay p is sufficient for q q is necessary for p these terms might seem confusing to you at this uh, at one point of time but let me just elaborate once see if p then q okay. matlab agar statement p true hua hmm. to hi statement q true hoga okay. ya fir for example let's assume that if and only if tomorrow i give a, in an exam hmm. then only i'll be getting a report card the day after tomorrow yeah. okay so these are an implying statement yeah. like if i don't go and give an exam i will not get marks yeah. okay yeah so the basic sense is this and uh, let me elaborate these two p is sufficient for q and q is necessary for p hmm. okay p is sufficient for q what does this mean that q for q to happen p is a sufficient condition you do not need any other uh, condition for p to happen yeah. and similarly q is necessary for p this just the uh, the, the only difference is here for the sufficient and necessary yeah. the two mean the same yeah yeah let's move further to the next topic which is um biconditional statement yeah okay so what is a biconditional statement a biconditional statement means a statement formed by the combination of two statements okay. of the form if p then q plus if q then p okay see when i say if p then q hmm. okay let me let me uh, like quote the similar uh, the same example which i talked about before okay. that if i go and give an exam then only i'll get the marks hmm. i cannot say this if i get marks then only i will go and give the paper right yeah. that does not make sense no. so that is not a biconditional statement matlab the vice versa things do not happen in uh, statements like those okay. whereas statements with the vice versa like if p then q as well as if q then p yeah. then that is called a uh, biconditional statement okay, okay? and uh, how is it denoted it is denoted by p and q matlab p uh, p implies q okay. as well as q implies p okay so, so there is a double arrow implication here. right yeah okay 
ओके सो लेट्स मूव फर्दर टू वॉट अ कॉन्ट्रा पॉजिटिव स्टेटमेंट इज प्लीज डू नॉट गेट कन्फ्यूज इन कॉन्ट्रा पॉजिटिव एंड कन्वर्स द कन्वर्स वुड बी टेकन इन द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड बट डू रिमेंबर द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टू ओके सी कॉन्ट्रा पॉजिटिव कैन बी ऑप्टेन बाई अ इफ देन स्टेटमेंट ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ अ स्टेटमेंट इज पी इम्प्लाइज क्यू देन द कॉन्ट्रा पॉजिटिव विल बी इफ नॉट पी देन नॉट क्यू ओके सो इट सिंपली मीन्स सी it it simply is uh, you you can simply uh, understand it by using this if then words right okay. if this is not happening then that will not happen yeah. if this will happen then that will happen yeah. so it's just a contrapositive uh, th- that is a basic sense of contrapositive okay okay let's move further to what i told you or what i talked about just now uh, and that is converse of a statement ओके व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय कन्वर्स ऑफ अ स्टेटमेंट कन्वर्स ऑफ अ स्टेटमेंट मींस इफ आई से पी इंप्लाइज क्यू देन इट्स कन्वर्स वुड बी क्यू इंप्लाइज पी या दैट्स ऑल ओके सो डू रिमेंबर द व्हाट इज अ कॉन्ट्रा पॉजिटिव एंड व्हाट इज अ कन्वर्स स्टेटमेंट बिकॉज इन द एग्जाम द बेसिक थिंग इज यू गेट अ स्टेटमेंट एंड देन दे आस्क यू द कन्वर्स ऑफ द कॉन्ट्रा पॉजिटिव ऑफ द गिवन स्टेटमेंट इज ओके सो डू नॉट गेट कन्फ्यूज इन थिंग्स लाइक दैट सो पी इंप्लाइज क्यू द कन्वर्स वुड बी q implies p okay clear till here i just wanted to give a short note over here that go through all the truth tables that are given in your textbook okay okay because there are some uh, this uh, f- for example even if for p and q p or q okay for all these you should know the truth table like you should go through them you should it, it's not important for you to memorize them yeah. but if you go through them once that would be there in your mind and you would be able to uh, grasp all the questions better okay yeah let's move on to the questions yeah uh, 